What's up, guys? My name is Patrick, and welcome back to, yes, another episode of The Witcher 3. And I am really excited to play this game because I just installed my new graphics card. You might already notice, if you've been keeping up on my series, that it already looks a little bit smoother. But yeah, uh, you might have also noticed that I got a couple new swords. I am wearing right now the Griffin set of swords. Normally in battle, I use this because it has 101 armor piercing, and I usually wear this because it has 179 vitality um but i have a lot of swords with these heads on them now a lot of cool looking silver swords uh the tear to cheer the tear to cheer blade is still my favorite looking sword overall the way the sword wraps around itself um but just figured i'd start with these see how they you know see how they look see how they feel looks pretty cool but this is my battle attire as it stands and yeah, I've been doing a lot in these last few episodes. I fulfilled a lot of Witcher's contracts. Um, managed to meet that arena mancer, Kareen Tilly. Uh, met up with Triss in that other episode, which was really fun. Really looked forward to that meeting. And yeah, now we get to play the Witcher with my new graphics card installed. So let's see how smooth it plays. But... Let me see. I actually have to set up my quest. Yeah, okay. So, I learned that Siri was in Novigrad, and she met up with Dandelion, an old friend of mine. And while pursuing one of my Witcher's contracts, something for something about a vampire by the docks, I actually met another one of Geralt's friends, who we might get to go see a little bit later. Elvin blood, eh? um, I met one of the other Witchers named Lambert. He's like one of the younger Witchers. Uh, of the wolf school. So that was pretty cool, pretty nice surprise. He seemed very eager to find we out some that information that about oh, some Yad nice. something or other. I don't know. He's furiously pursuing some lead right now. He told me to meet him at the Seven Cats Inn by the inn. At, it's basically the inn at the crossroads, one of the first places we ever went in Bellin. So we are headed to the Rosemary in Time, which is actually where my stash is. You might have seen me visit this compound in a couple of other episodes. But the Rosemary in Time is actually a brothel well, well, that Dandelion afraid. apparently bought. Doesn't seem very out of character for Dandelion. But let's go check this out. See what, uh, what we can find out back, here. Yes, stinking stages. All we what? wanted was. Don't give a flying fuck it's what you wanted. Get! Huh. It's. Uh. It's a bit voice. The voice sounds mm. pretty familiar. A witcher? Yes, a witcher. Observe it. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan. With your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Here to join me? With pleasure. Awesome, Zoltan's here. It's one of Geralt's uh, friends. You might have seen him in The Witcher 2 if you were so inclined to have played The Witcher 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. Stay down. Uh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of the ages now. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Thanks, I've weathered a bit. He's saying I look old. All right, but Zoltan, it's good to see you again, man. I am looking for Siri. Have you seen her? It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? 
But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Why? What's the problem? Where's Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Alright, so Dandelion's missing. Awesome. That's just great. But yeah, he's right. Uh, last we came here was full of bombs. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Wait. That's rich. Dandelion and planning? Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Wait a minute. I would say not interested, but that could actually help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Ah, oh, that's great. So, my page that he just so, you know, quickly and skillfully ripped out of that book there. Uh, my page is written backwards, I guess? It's inverse? Should be a problem. You got witch eyes, the right? The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that dumb fool name. So wait, that's Dandelion's... Ah, it's fucking hilarious. Let's visit my stash for... Ooh. Let's see what all this stuff is first. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry would himself did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel and I... Uh, ugh, another time. Uh, uh, he taught a pig to yodel. Awesome. Weird. But awesome. Alright, I'm gonna put Magrum away. Tiercho cheer bleed. I got a fire poker too, which does a surprising amount of damage, but I don't need it on me right now. So I already have one of these out. What does the succubus trophy do? Gives you bonus gold. That could be useful, but not in this lifetime. Well, not in this gameplay, rather. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. And we will keep just that on us puts our weight at 70 out of 160 and i think that is fine and dandy i'm also level 15 so i should check my stash to see if there are any 
level 15 items that I was otherwise unable to use up until this minute. So having a quick look around, this is one of them. It's a big ass axe. It's weird that Geralt's able to use that kind of stuff. Not a fan of that huge, huge axe. Maybe if there's some kind of two-handed sword, but no, like Gven, Gvennel. That's probably was useful at one point. Not now, really. It's a very plain-looking sword, as you can see. I already had a version of it. I was able to use at level four. Glory of the North. Now, this blade of this sword looks fucking cool, but the handle and the handguard looks really weird to me. Um, here's another Glory of the North. Another Tear Torch here. This is all the stuff I think I just put away. Now, here's some stuff. This I wasn't able to use before. Redanian Haldadir's Armor. So we're going to take that with us. I've been wanting to use that for a long, long, long time. Plus 83. How much does this one give us? Plus 101. Yep, we're going to use that one. Um, So, I think that's going to do it for the stash. Let me just go through my trophies, make sure I don't have anything useful in the way of trophies. All right, that'll do. That's all. We'll be good with that. Hmm. Nose is too small. Hi, <laughs> and the sword's too big. Uh, by the by, is that how it's done? Killing the wyvern? <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. <laughs> yeah. Dan and was to run from a rat and kill a wyvern. Letter from a female admirer. All right, so we've got some stuff to just continue to look around, and then we're gonna read some shit. In our from inventory. the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. <laughs> of course. Letter from Bomil de A lot of letters to read. Oh, dandelion's loot. <laughs> This is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Yeah, maybe. Doubt he was in a rush, though. Let's see what else we can find. Holy crap. Oh, it is a brothel, so there's gonna be a lot of rumors. A lot of rooms indeed. I'm really just looking for stuff that I can um, make use of here. Like chests with water in them because people are assholes who keep fucking watering chests. I expect to find good things when I go into chests. I'm not used to finding just like water. I just want to loot the absolute most I can out of this place while I'm here. God knows there will be more stuff to loot when I come back because somehow somebody comes by and refills these fucking containers. Some lonely vagabond. Ah, a little bit of uh, ambience. A lot of bread, a lot of water. I have a lot of water. Water is useful. It doesn't poison you. Try and regain your health. A lot of dead rats, Dandelion. Gotta fix that shit. See what I mean? Windows look fucking awesome. And I can see people walking down on the streets, I think. Yep, see, look. There's a guy bump stumbling down the fucking street right there. Yeah, graphics card. Um, Definitely helping getting smoother frames per second. Loving that. Especially in those cutscenes, things don't just pop in every now and then. I mean, it still might, because that has everything to do with the the game. Not really the card that I'm using, but let's see if I'm able to... Oh, locked, of course. So, I think that's it for loot here. I think that'll do. Let's go ahead, get back to the ground floor, and then we're going to read Dandelion's convoluted inverse backwards-ass planner. Rose of our Atra, like a rose 
Abashed of its crimson hue, Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf, Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Gildorf, villa next to the morgue. Vespula. Though... Timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Far corners, laundry near the mouth of the pontar. Marabella, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. The bits near Pauper Square. Elihal, a figure most rare, her natural dual. Look deep in her eyes or be ma made a fool. All right, Dandelion. That was a fucking, that was a bad rhyme. Taylor shop across from the tannery. Let's read these other letters too. Letter from a female admirer. The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot. The whole, worldly, the whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunged into that purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar, the music, the singing, you. For that one brief moment, I felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits in my soul's yearning chords. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! That female admirer might be a better writer than you, Dandelion. Letter from Bomil de, Ab de, de Rabba, whatever. Dear Viscount. What a weird name Dandelion chose. Once more, I would like to convey my thanks for agreeing to grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. Your presence warmed our hearts, and the sweet notes with which you serenaded us so touched my wife's mother. The Baroness Duvel Duvlet, called in some circles a cold and heartless bitch, ha, huh? that tears of the tears that tears of tender emotion appeared in her eyes. Well, good for you, Dandelion. Talk to his old man. Alrighty. Four hundred fifty experience points for reading a planner. Still here, looking for something. Ugh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Alright, so who should we start with? Let's start with, um... Let's start with Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly! Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects. Examines it from all perspectives. All right. What about Marabella? If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She <laughs> did a can half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Little, uh... Little bit of a kinkster, that... That Marabella. A little bit too kinky for Dandelion, and that's almost hard to believe. Alright, what about, uh, Vespula? Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's up. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's up. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. <laughs> All right, so Vespula, raging bitch. Um, what about Rosa Var Atre? Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf, never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? <laughs> All right. But Var Atre? 
Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one it seems. Week on week we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. What has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim? I mean, instructor. <laughs> that's cool. Might have to check in, see if that's an option. Maybe I could teach uh, Mr. Var Atra's son, or uh, daughter rather, how to use a sword. Which would be interesting to say the least. Var Atra, I read that and I thought it sounded familiar. One of my Let's Plays is actually called Palace Looting and Wartime Updates. If you don't know who her father is, go check out that episode and you will. He's actually a very level-headed man, very honest man. He thinks this war, he knows how, how this war is going, and he didn't, like, skimp on telling me how it's really going. So that was pretty cool, pretty useful information. Really nice guy. Um, his daughter doesn't sound the like. But what about Ellie Hall or Il Ellie Hall, however you say that? I want to know about this bitch. A figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. All right. Requires a touch of class, is what he is. Uh, is what he's trying to say. All right, thank you, Zoltan. Good seeing you again. I got all I need to know. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right, so we got some leads. Let's see where we can start. Somewhere close, because I doubt I'm going to get to all of these. Wow, well, they're all in Novigrad, but let's just start with the one that's closest. Start here. We got some people to go talk to. <laughs> people. Who am I kidding? They're women. Beware, They're freak. whores. I'm not saying that all women are whores. I'm just saying that we're literally going to talk to mostly whores. Those guys have those painted faces. I've been wondering what's up with these dudes. Some kind of gang. I will get you every last copper. We have interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Clayhead. Not your concern. Ah, uh, let's see. What should I do? Vespula's got new protection. Never hit a woman in front of me. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. All right, guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, burn's not exactly what I have in mind. I love this goddamn bomb. Thank me. I 
it was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax, it'll come off. Relax, it'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Alright. Sorry about the mess, I thought I was helping you out. I need to ask you about Dandelion. Hopefully you don't yell at me. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And? No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Jesus, this woman is awesome. Did Dandelion ever ask you about other washerwomen? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Maybe, but probably not. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. All right. Well, thank you for that information, and good luck. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. <laughs> She's still smitten. Alright, so that's one the washer wench dealt with. Dandelion, you sure know how to pick him, dude. She might have been in The Witcher 2, but because I never played and never saw it, probably an extra quest. I have to go look Why that up. Aren't you a tower? Well, you're a dwarf, so. Not saying much, dude. Anyway, let's go see if we can't get a. Uh, I think I've got maybe another nice five or six minutes left in this Let's Play, so let's <gasps> go check out one more washerwoman. It's getting cold. Seems to be pretty nice. I mean, we do live in the north, though, so that's something to consider. Your hands in a bucket of water all day. My man carries his pitchfork like Welcome, you on his welcome. Back. Do come I in. Say you both oh. Well. This is not what I expected. Hello. Sir. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my god. This game never ceases to surprise me. Um I All right. I'm almost afraid to ha to ask what then? What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay, um... First and foremost, why do you dress that way? I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a Witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. <laughs> uh, what did you and Dandelion talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. So, so even in death, people are going to get their point across. Alchemists and sorcerers, I mean. That's pretty fucking cool. And the fact this guy dresses up, I thought it was going to go somewhere a little bit stranger, but he just wanted to be a Doppler, and I, I kind of agree with his point. I mean, I would never myself dress up to become somebody else. But I could see why he does, I guess. Anyway, when did you last see Dandelion? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. So on an extra pocket. Alright, well... Thank you, Ellie Hal, for your help. And good luck with... this. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. All right, so he's, yep, just gonna, you're just gonna stay in those red shoes and that dress. All right, I am, I am uncomfortable. I'm going to go surround myself oh, with women. Alright. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this Let's Play. I actually had a timer going for this one so I can make it a little bit more consistent with these episodes. When we get back, we still have, I think, three people to talk to. Three of Dandelion's lovesick pups. So we'll go do that in the next episode. But, as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you missed anything, go be sure to catch up on my other episodes. I mean, they're all uploaded. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode. Ever heard the legends of the White Wolf? I am the White Wolf. Stop plumbing. There's somebody coming. Sick of it.